Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about some Christmas activities that you can do. So if you have children yourself, these are some activities that you can do with them over the Christmas period. But also if you work with children, whether that's um, children in mainstream schools or children in special needs schools, these are some activities that you can do as well. Lots of these are sensory, so they're very good for people that are very sensory, um, mainly tactile seekers. But there are so many more different activities that you can do, so I will link lots of things in the description box, so check them out. The first activity that you could do is make a sensory box. I've talked about sensory boxes in the past, and I will link that somewhere. But yes, if you don't know, sensory boxes are basically putting in a box lots of different sensory items that you like feeling. The only difference between this and a Christmas sensory box is all of the stuff in the sensory box um, are kind of Christmas themed. So you could put tinsel, fake snow, baubles. Of course, still make sure that it's things inside the box that you like feeling. You don't want to like put sensory items in that you don't enjoy feeling and feel uncomfortable. The next thing you could do is make a snowman or a Christmas tree using shaving foam and paint um, or food colouring so they can like mix the shaving foam up and create different colours and styles. I have found one that uses water beads as the little baubles on the Christmas tree. So yeah, all you need is like a space where you can put it out. If you don't have a tough spot, which looks like this, then you can simply just do it on a table or anything or on some paper. But it's so easy to do and really sensory as well. Carrying on with that theme, you can also have ice in a tough spot or a box and have some paint so you can paint the ice as it melts and create really cool pictures. Here are a few examples. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is reindeer. And there are lots of different things that you can do surrounding reindeer, um, but this is one really cool thing and all you need is some paint, your hands, and a piece of paper. You need to get a blue piece of paper, get your hands and paint them brown and then do some hand prints and make it so it looks like a reindeer and then you can draw on more details, you can draw on the nose or stick something that is like a nose, um, you can put some snow in the background, maybe even draw a snowman but this is such a cool thing to do because it's so easy. Um, so yeah, this is something that you can do with like lots of different kids and it's very sensory having your hand painted as well. I really enjoy that. Carrying on down the paint line, the next thing I suggest is making these Christmas tree cards. They're really cool. In the picture you can see that they've cut out a Christmas tree shape using a potato. Oh, the good old times. If you have a Christmas tree print, you can use that, or if you don't, you can always get a sponge and cut that into a Christmas tree shape, or you can get a stencil. Um, there are lots of different ways to create the Christmas tree thing, or you could just paint it freehand, but it's so easy, and this will make really good Christmas cards for lots of different people. Going along with the Christmas tree themed things, you can also make these Christmas tree cards as well. So you can get some green card, remember to fold it in half first, cut it out to make it look like a Christmas tree um, and then you can decorate it however you wish on the front so then when you open it you can write a card to someone as well it just looks really cool I think I might do that with the kids at work another really fun activity that you can do is you can make a Santa now all you need for this is a paper plate some cotton balls and some paper and some paint and you can turn it into this or you can do any other design that you want. You can even do this with a Christmas tree as well, or a snowman, or a star. There are so many different things that you can make. The last thing that I'm going to be talking about is making a sensory bottle. We made these last year for our Enterprise Day. And if you haven't seen, I did a whole video about Enterprise, what it is, and what we made. So I will link that somewhere. But yeah, they're really cool. And this one that I found is a Frozen inspired one. We made some last year that looked like this. It was really, really fun and the kids really enjoyed it. All you need is a bottle, some water and some food colouring and any sprinkles or stars or anything like that that you want to put in, even beads, and then just shake everything together. We ended up make, printing off a picture of Elsa and taping it on and making a little dress, but you don't have to do that. 
um, you can do different ones as well. We ended up making four different sensory bottles. We made an Elsa, a Christmas tree, a snowman, and a Santa, and that was so much fun. So we had blue, white, red, and green, and we decorated them all in different styles. So that is another cool thing that you can do. Whilst researching for this video and trying to find cool activities that you could do for Christmas, I actually came across a Makatan advent calendar. Now, I had not seen this before, but it's really exciting. Um, it's basically every day you learn a new sign. On the 11th of December, it's reindeer. I love that one. <laughs> I'm not going to give too much away about it because I want you to learn it. And yeah, it just looks really fun. So I will probably be doing this as well. So I will let you know how I get along. And you should probably check out my Twitter because that's probably where I'll be talking about this. I couldn't find a British Sign Language one, but I know that a lot of these signs will be the same, however some may be different, so if you could find a British Sign Language one, then let me know. And let me know how you got on with this advent calendar, and what you made, if you made any of these different crafts or activities, let me know. I'd love to see like pictures of what you guys have been up to. So you can send those on my Facebook and Twitter, and those are down below as always. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you have a fabulous Christmas and a wonderful Advent time. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it around. Remember to subscribe and click the bell button to know when I upload next, and I will see you soon. Bye guys.